Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Um, today you will be watching a pre-recorded live. If you want to see this unedited and be able to interact with me real time, make sure to open up the description box for a special quote just for you today, as well as a link um, to the private Facebook group where I go live weekly and I do daily posts about self-care, self-love, as well as self-discovery. Um, so with that being said, in the description box, you'll also find um, resources to online therapy as well as my curated self-care playlist as well as um, some self-care products and some of my Amazon favorites um, for you guys to do your um, uh, weekly self-care pamper routines. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this live content and if you guys have any questions or comments, of course you can always leave them in the description box or in the comment section below. I will see you guys there. So the name of this live is called, it's called Boundaries, B words. <laughs> so um, with a lot of people, I'm, I'm thinking that if you guys grew up how most of us grow up um, as women, we're kind of conditioned to put other people first. We're kind of conditioned to um, care about other people's feelings and kind of be self-sacrificing and be super, super nice and all this stuff. Um, and sometimes it it's not always beneficial to us, right? Um, so we think sometimes boundaries, setting boundaries is, is being mean. Um, so that was something that I struggled with this year and I am 28 years old. Um, it's something that I'm still learning. So I hope that this live will help you guys today. In addition to the live, um, I also wanted to make an announcement that we will start the first book of kind of like the, I guess, the book club series that we'll be using um, books to kind of help us um, discover ourselves as well as um, love ourselves and um, expand our self-care. So the first book that we're going to read is The Power of No. Um, and that one I'll probably break up into maybe a six-part series, but this will kind of be like an introduction. So um, without reading the book, I kind of am going to go through um, an initial starting of how to kind of set boundaries, especially during this time with COVID, um, in 2020, and we're getting ready to be in 2021. Um, we don't want to enter into 2021, um, with the same mindset, obviously. So, um, first, um, some of the things that you can set boundaries for, obviously personal space, that's an easy, easy one. Um, sexuality or, you know, sexualized intimacy, um, emotional and um, thought wise, um, possessions and stuff, your time and your energy. That is probably one of the most expensive ones, but time and energy, um, as well as culture, religion and ethics. Um, so those are some of the parameters to which you can um, set boundaries for yourself. And so, um, of course, it's not a textbook science. This is something that, you know, it's going to vary from person to person. But um, some of the benefits from setting boundaries is going to be better self-esteem. Um, you're going to feel better about yourself. And I am a true testament of that because I've realized all this time, one of the things that was lacking was that I didn't value myself sometimes to um, adhere to my boundaries. Like I had them but I didn't realize that I wasn't truly being honest um, with my boundaries, just turning up the brightness there. Um, conserving your emotional energy, uh, as well as having more agency and more independence. Um, so um, how this can work for you uh, is that it can improve your relationships just in general. Um, so if you are getting into friendships or getting into relationships with men or women, whatever you decide to do, um, your relationships will improve because you already have um, set boundaries and if people don't adhere to that you know that you have the power and the wherewithal to walk away from those um, boundaries can also be flexible um, so you know you don't draw them in as a permanent link sometimes I have a boundary where I think that I want things a certain way or I think oh I would never do that sometimes I change my mind and that's okay um, and they also allow for you to um, conserve your emotional energy, which is really, really important. 
they give you space to um, grow and be flexible and vulnerable um, with others as well as um, you know be able to distinguish red flags with people so if they don't adhere to your boundaries um, and it's explicit that they don't adhere to your boundaries you know that um, this is probably someone that you may not necessarily need in your life um, and some red flags uh, with people to look for um, if they're not respecting your boundaries is um, personal rants or attacks on social media um, no filter or you know any kind of regard um, to how how you feel uh, that's kind of obvious so um, I'm just looking down to my notes uh, sharing personal details like if they, they're spreading your business or sharing your boundaries with other people um, dominated or one-sided conversations where you can't even get a word in and um, expecting like on-call therapy like you know anytime that um, you pick up the phone from them it's always something bad or they always need something from you um, sometimes that can also be a monetary rise like you know every time you you pick up the phone you always you know some kind of ATM or something like that um, so how you can determine your boundaries is by examining your rights and your needs um, so you can ask like what are things that I need from other people what are some things that I don't need from other other people necessarily um, what are your rights follow your gut because everybody is equipped with this inner inner brain that is actually I believe is smarter than a peer and um, determine your values and stick to it stick to it um, your boundaries are more than likely going to be shaped by your culture um, how you grew up your heritage uh, sometimes the region where you grew up like people from the south a boundary may be I don't open doors if a man is around me I think that should be period but um, that could be an example of a boundary um, whether you're introverted, extroverted, um, or somewhere in between, as well as your life experience and family dynamics. Um, so, uh, some of your basic rights, these could be examples of boundaries, right? Um, you have a right to say no without feeling bad. That's a huge one. Like, a lot of people still struggle with that, and they can be, you know, on their deathbed, and they still struggle with that. Um, they still feel bad for saying no. Um, having a right to be treated with respect um and making your needs just as as important as other people's needs um and being able to accept your mistakes without fault um or guilt and um a right to not be able to meet um someone else's unreasonable standards for you um so that's a big one um and sometimes you got to be able to tap into your feelings and be like what does my gut what is my gut kind of telling me like what am i feeling um with this boundary and um, what are your actual values, your personal values. And so um, some of the ways that you can become a boundary queen and make sure that you always adhere to your boundaries is by one, being assertive. Um, and being assertive, you can still be assertive and still be yourself. Um, for me, it's pretty natural for me to be a little bit more um, passive, you know, a little bit more um, receptive as opposed to being um, so uh, dominant. Uh, but I could still assert my needs and assert my boundaries and stick to that. Um, and one thing that helps with boundaries is feeling statements. So um, for me, I just say what I feel, how it's making me feel, and then I state the boundary. So example, uh, it makes me feel unprotected if you don't open the door for me. Stuff like that. So um, learn to say no. That's a big one. And so I think that's the reason why I really wanted us to all read the book together, The Power of No, um, because the word no has so much power in it, as well as the word please. But the word no can be just as powerful and you could still um, maintain, you have the power to maintain your um, relationships and cultivate them properly when you're, you're using the word no effectively. Um, My mouth gets so dry. Safeguard your spaces. Um, an example for this, um, okay, let's say if you are dating someone um, and you have a boundary, like for me, I don't have, I have a boundary where um, unless I'm in a very, very, very serious relationship with somebody, they're not coming to my house. That's just, that's just me. Um, that's a boundary. 
and when they do come to my home, I'm still going to um, put um, safeguards where I, I'm probably going to hide personal photos or I may, um, you know, lock away my, my passport or personal information. I may take my laptop and um, stow it away because it, it only makes sense um, because it's a boundary for me. Um, this is a personal space and you want to make sure that you are um, adhering to that. Uh, hi you guys as you're coming in if you could just like drop a, a heart or something let me know that you're at least looking um, I'm trying to track to see what is the best time to kind of go live I know it's super super late um, over here on the East Coast like I would normally be asleep <laughs> but um, some examples of um, boundary safeguards putting um, items in a um, safe box or lock drawer um, password protected digital journals because um, I journal a lot I would hate for somebody, even if it was a friend that I invited over um, and they stayed the night, I would hate for them to look at some of the most intimate details of my life and traumas that I am journaling out. Um, scheduling non-negotiable alone time. This is a big one. I have a time in my phone every day that I spend completely to myself. I'm not answering calls. I'm not looking at emails. I'm not on Facebook. I don't care. This is my alone time. Um, whether I am sitting meditating, doing yoga, or I am journaling out or reading, this is my time to myself. Um, I make sure that my son is, you know, has care already handled so that I can spend time with myself and recharge. Um, we already talked about passwords. Um, setting off a, a cutoff time for answering emails or texts. So for me, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, officially almost 10 o'clock normally I would probably be, be in bed by now but I had so much going on today and I had to still go live to just chat with you guys but um, when I get off this live I will probably respond to comments and stuff tomorrow morning because I, I owe it to myself to uh, have a cutoff time um, to where I'm not answering my phone I'm not involved um, with tapping into other people so using out of office when you're on vacation that should be obvious um, and even if you have to delete social media and, and like take breaks from social media, you, y'all should know I'm good for that. <laughs> I will disappear for like, uh, months on end and I will come back better than ever. But, um, thank you for the hearts guys. Yeah. Just leave hearts or leave a comment. Um, letting me know that you'll watch later or something. Um, I'm trying to track to see when the best time would be. Um, I'll probably do a poll later in the group um, sometime this week to see what time would be better. If you guys are randomly coming in, I'm drinking pineapple infused water. It's so, so good. Um, and of course, making a promise to yourself to adhere to your own boundaries because you can't expect other people to adhere to your boundaries when you're not adhering to them yourself. Um, so even like when I get off, like one of my boundaries is going to be making sure I don't answer any phone calls and stuff. It's going to be really, really hard because I know sometimes my friends be calling with the tea and I'm like, ah, it's 10 o'clock. I need that time to myself. And that's okay. Um, get assistance or support. Um, but anybody who cares about you is going to make sure that they adhere to your boundaries. If they care about you, they're going to do that. Right? Um, how to recognize and um, honor other people's boundaries. Uh, so... We could talk about self-care, self-love, and self-discovery all day in this group, but if we aren't making sure that we aren't doing the same thing for other people, um, you know, we're only going to get what we what we give, and we're only going to attract the energy that we put out. Um, so watch for cues. Uh, you know, like this is where um, being socially intelligent kind of comes into play. Um, if you know that uh, your friend has normally a bubbly energy and you kind of been in their space most of the day and you see that they're kind of like tapping out, they're not as like talkative and stuff, maybe that's a cue to kind of like, you know, take self in inventory and check in with yourself and see like, okay, am I being overbearing? Like, do I need to give this person a break? Um, so this weekend, I witnessed my son having a play date. And um, one of my good girlfriends, she has a son um, where they're literally like four weeks apart, maybe like two weeks apart. And I witnessed her son, he um, would have points where he would just need to take a break 
and kind of like walk away but he wouldn't say anything to my son like he would just kind of walk away but my son still thought he was playing so he thought it was like oh it's it's um tag what's that game tag that kids play like tag where they they run after each other so my son kept chasing after him um it only took for her child to turn around and say to my son i need a break i need time there was a boundary and i had to tell my son hey give him he needs a minute let's walk away let's do something else and let's come back let's wait for him to come back but that's an example of boundaries and these kids are only three <laughs> so we have to make sure that we're being respectful of other people's boundaries obviously um be inclusive um ask sometimes outright ask and just remember that boundaries are always there to help us and um yeah that's pretty much it boundaries are there to help us um so after i upload this live i'm um going to leave in the comments a um a list of resources so it's going to be a list of my site i'm going to have the self-care playlist as well as um some free uh resources to where you guys can get online therapy in your area um you guys can use that link and um most of these therapists accept like um health insurance and stuff um so there's no excuse i'm a big advocate for therapy in fact i have three different therapists um that i go to because i believe in that that strongly um so outside of that i'll probably also post maybe a link to um where you guys can shop self-care um shop my um favorite stuff for how i pamper myself during the week as well as um maybe i'll throw in some other stuff but um i'm really excited about the self-care playlist um i have some cool songs so there is a thread in the facebook group um, to where you guys can um, add some of your favorite songs um, to the self-care playlist and we can kind of jam out and stuff. You can listen to it while you are cleaning up or while you're vibing out or just, you know, taking a bath or whatever. Um, but once again, if you guys um, made it to this part of the video, just drop me a heart, a black heart down below or um, leave your comments or questions and stuff. Um, I do want to interact with you guys, but it is getting late and I have set a boundary to myself to after 10 p.m. I go night night. <laughs> so um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, love you guys. If you are watching this on YouTube, make sure that you um, you know join the private Facebook group so that you can watch this video live. Um, I did want to thank you guys once again and I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.